Run, run, run. So what is it like to see my buddy Taylor Sloop play here around Sandusky? He plays all over Ohio. Um, but today we're gonna find out. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. There's gonna be a lot more than just that, but let's go. All right guys, we are headed into East Harbor Marina. There's obviously a state park here. I've never been here before, but we are going to be listening to the sounds of Taylor Sloop who's been on the channel a couple different times and we've just kind of become friends this year. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going, but <laughs> we'll ask some questions later. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we are headed to Boondocks. That's where he's playing. So it looks like this is it right here. You need to find a parking space right around here to get to. Doesn't look like anything cost anything. I'm not quite sure where Boondocks is though. I've seen a sign up here also that says Boondocks on it. So we'll see. All right, I think I figured it out because I'm pretty sure I see him right there inside that blue tent. So we're gonna head that direction, see what we find down there at Boondocks. So it's kind of a cool area. Um, lots of boats, all kinds of different places for people to stay, little condos and uh, little cottages, things like that. Uh, anyway, let's go down to Boondocks and see what we find. Thank you very much. Facebook, Taylor Sleep Music, trying to hit 2,000 likes or follows or whatever you call it by the end of uh, the year. And I do appreciate all the support.
fun and a, a really cool place to go visit. Like, whether Taylor's playing or not, great place to go listen to some live music. Um, just a great little restaurant to hang out at. So, definitely fun. I'm glad that I went. And uh, I've been wanting to see Taylor play live for a long time. So, it's pretty cool to be able to see him play um, for the first time. And you guys should definitely go check him out. Um, Taylor Schloop. Uh, I think it's the Taylor Sloop Band on Facebook. Um, and if I'm wrong about that, I will correct it down below and you'll see the actual stuff down here. Um, I'll also link his stuff down below too. He has, he has things on Instagram and on YouTube that you can go check out to see how he plays. And if you own a restaurant or things like that and you're wanting someone to come and play for you, go check him out. So we just got done watching Taylor perform, which was definitely very, very fun. And now we are headed into Cedar Point to hang out for three hours. In these three hours, we want to know how much we can do during the kind of off season. It's not quite Labor Day, so it's not totally the off season yet, but school has started. Things are starting to wind down. We want to find out how much we can do. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. We're going to have a fun evening. It's a Sunday night also, and let's go. Should I play the logo again? It just felt right, so sure. Well, it's a beautiful day here at Cedar Point, and the school year has started, unfortunately. And fortunately, I've missed my kids a lot. Um, but that means I don't get to be here nearly as often as usual. So, we're here on a Sunday night, hanging out at Cedar Point. It's time to do as much as we possibly can this evening we are headed in now to go find taylor to hang out with him here on cedar point beach it is now the time of year when school has started and i know that my days are numbered as far as getting some sun on this very very irish skin <laughs> so i take all the opportunities i possibly can <laughs> so we are on our way to go hang out with him this evening we've got about three hours here at cedar point and we don't really have a plan. We're just kind of spending some time here. So I'm definitely excited to do it. Let's go. that the end of the summer is near so take this Saturday that's a beautiful Saturday with nice warm Sun and really enjoy being out on the beach together it's definitely something that I think is worthwhile to do and um, like I've said before if you haven't heard it yet <laughs> this is a place where anyone can enjoy you don't need to be a part of the hotel to hang out here on the Breakers Beach. Already where I have to put my shirt on and I hate it. <laughs> It is a nice day out right now. Definitely a shirtless, shirtless vibe kind of a day. The man, the myth, the legend, Taylor Schloop. Shirt's already off. Huh? Shirt's already off. That's right. Not much of a line for Beck BQ, so we're gonna hop in here, get this done real, real fast. Okay, so food acquired. Let me do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where are we going first? Uh, what, do Gemini? Sure. Gemini it is. Let's go. Taylor's always got to try to win a basketball. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Close. So close, last one. Can he do it? 
Oh! Walk of shame. <laughs> All right, here we are going into Gemini. It says a five minute wait. I believe it too, let's go. All right, Gemini is always a fantastic ride, but it's not the ride to ride right after you've eaten. <laughs> this is a little bit too much for me, uh, but still always fun. What do you think? Loved it. Blue side should have won. Should've they won. trimmed us real hard. Yeah, we didn't win. Red side seats. <laughs> All right, so we just discovered that Steel Vengeance is a 20 minute wait right now. So I'm not buying it. We're, we're gonna we'll try it. We're gonna see if we can get out of shoe still vintage. Yes. Come on, zero point two. And uh, if it's not gonna be that long, so let's go. Let's go. Like I said, it said a 20 minute wait. It says 30 minutes here. You still want to do it? I'm all right with that. All right, I let's do it. Let's see what it's like when we walk back there. I forgot. I talk to you guys about this all the time, but these things cannot go in. And I was like, yeah, I know my rig, because I have like a whole rig here set up. It all fits in here, but that doesn't matter. Because <laughs> you can't take this on. You have to pay for a locker. I'm not going to pay for a locker for three hours. We don't have enough time for that anyway. So yeah. we're on our way to go hit just whatever else we can find. So I think we should hit Skyhawk. He knows how much you guys want me to do Skyhawk. And he's trying to force me. He's a horrible friend. Yep. <laughs> I will, I guess. I kind of hate you all. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I kind of want to I kind of want to just get him in the seat and then me hop off of it. <laughs> you and leave. record him. <laughs> Being like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> You're a horrible person. All right, let's see how long this light is for Skyhawk. Uh, yeah. All right, and there it is, my nemesis. There's my other freaking nemesis, too. That's right. Don't you forget it. You're making me ride it. I'm not into this. <laughs> Let's go. All right, looks like there's no line. Otherwise, I might run away. But Let's go right into it. Yep, five-minute wait. I guess we can go. Bravery. I hate you. <laughs> Just so you guys can see, we are at nine. I'm not happy about this. Do it for the views. Do it for the views. Do it for the views. <laughs> Can't be worse than Wicked Twister. Uh, <laughs> You're talking to a Wicked Twister. Man. I kind of liked Wicked Twister better than this. All right, that was utterly horrifying in every way. I'm mortified to my core and I almost lost my glasses. So that makes it even worse. One more reason for me to hate it. What was it like to ride that with me? This is what Trent was like. Uh. <laughs> Screaming the whole word. A, a very selective four letter word. <laughs> it's true. And it, it wasn't is true. Luck. <laughs> It was bad, guys. It's a terrible, terrible ride. Why do y'all force me to do things like this? I hate you. Anyway, this this brought to you kind of by my Patreon, but we'll actually have to have a full going through all the flat rides. Yes, even Windseeker. That's going to be the most terrifying day of my life. But if you want to force me to do things, go check out my Patreon. Uh, you can force me to do things. There's other videos that we have, and I've also been doing some extra specific pictures for Patreon members. So go check it out uh, for between $1 and $7, depending on what tier. Go check it out and you can support the channel that way. I thought that the water rides would all still be open today, but it does look like Thunder Canyon is closed. I'm pretty sure that that was not closed today, Snake River Falls. But they always close this early to get ready for the uh, corn maze that comes up here which is probably the most underrated, or no, the most overrated of all the mazes here at Cedar Point for Hollow Weekends. Never been through this Hey, we can never go look at it. Let's go look at it. They always have it closed off. Did your group come up here for winter chill out? I don't think so. We no. did, and it was nothing. It was just an empty, you know, river. Yeah. And uh, our 
tour guide was like, well, the other group came up here, so I guess I don't want to deprive you guys, <laughs> but it's pretty much nothing. Yeah, just like this, this right? That's what it looked like. Yeah, but they are, I don't even know how they do it. I don't think we, I think we walk on boards up above it. Oh. It does seem like a lot, like why would they not just make it so that you walk through it, but. Yeah. That's what it looks like when it's dry. Never I've never seen it dry before, so it's kind of cool. Never really realized how shallow it is. Yeah. yeah like you can see the much. water line. Yeah. Just enough to get you moving. I'm definitely getting excited about how the weekends and especially about the entertainment for that. Today's our very first day of not having entertainment here at Cedar Point, which is, which is Hi. sad. Hi. Speaking of entertainment, that was wonderful. That Let's was... go. Now, Hollow Weekends is just about to start. It does say on this a couple different things. First of all, I have to say I'm excited to see Mr. Midnight back. I don't know if that really means anything or not, but I hope they have Mr. Midnight back again. They also do have, I'm assuming they, he is back because they have Midnight and then they also have Clown Death Metal Tour. So I'm assuming that's going to be a, um, a like rock and roll kind of a thing. Midnight, I would assume, will be a house for Mr. Midnight specifically. Um, it does say they have five different indoor mazes and five outdoor scare zones. I'm very excited to see Halloween weekends. They always have some fantastic entertainment and some really fun things to do um, there. Not to mention they have tons of kids activities um, and tons of little like bars like this too that you can um, hang out in. So we'll have to talk about that very soon uh, to really see what's going on. So, but right now we are headed in to Millennium Force. Well, we'll see in just a second here. There's literally no line. Oh, it's down. But okay, because it's down. down. So let's go ride the other things and stay in the area. That's so cool. when it's open, we can go ride it. Aren't you implying that you don't want to stand outside <laughs> the queue? And yes, wait? I'm very much implying that. Okay. And have been implying that for the last like five years. Yeah. I hate okay. that. Do not stand in line for lines that are not moving. All right, we've got Rougarou here. Now, when this thing says a 15 minute wait, it means a walk on. That's what it is. And absolutely no line whatsoever. Fantastic. Let's go. All right, and here we go. It's gone to Rougarou. So Millennium is still down, which means we are headed instead to Iron Dragon. If you see that ride that is really big and very popular is down, that is your option or your possibility, I guess, maybe to get on it a little bit faster. But in order to take advantage of very short lines, you have to stay in the general vicinity. Now, is it worthwhile to just hang out only there for forever? Probably not. But if you have a couple rides like we do right here, you might as well just stop and hit both those rides Go back and check out if Millennium Force is back open again. And if it is, then you can ride it. If it's not, then you can eventually move on. But for right now, this is a great opportunity for us to go ride a few things and still see if we can get a good, a good ride on Millennium Force. Here we are at Iron Dragon. 15 minute wait, which I don't believe. It's way less than a 15 minute wait. All right, we can see the footers and the poles now. I haven't been through this yet since this has happened. Too bad it's not daytime, but. And there goes Iron Dragon, the silhouette of Iron Dragon. She's a beautiful maiden. Wow, they do have some stuff up already on here. Looks like they still have the drum set, set up too. But I'm wondering if this is all just gonna be covered up. It looks like it is. Um, or if they're gonna maybe take off some things, uh, some of the more, some of the details that are on there, right there. I'm not sure if they're taking that off or not, but anyway, it's exciting. I can't wait to see, I'm assuming it's gonna be the Shrieks here, but 
you know, we'll see if that's what they actually do. I haven't seen anything actually listed here or not. They also have the band set up here, too. So I'm very excited for that. I will take it whenever they do it. I loved the, uh, the Battle of the Bands that they had last year. So this should be cool. I, I love it. They always have the multiple uh, stations going on. So you have one band, and then you have another band, and then another band. It's just a constant loop of shows. It's always really fun. All right, so this is a great sign for Valraven. When you see nobody back here, that means you've got a half hour or less of a line. I'm gonna say less. Eh, it might be, might be a half hour, maybe 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer of a line than I was expecting. Um, a little bit longer than 15 minutes, possibly but not a terrible line at all. We'll see what it's like. All right, from beginning to end, that took right out about 30 minutes. Blue Street. Sure. Okay. There's water. We're gonna see how many rides we can hit. There's no water on the way though. Can we hit this and then we'll go hit water? That is totally cool. Okay, let's do it. Stay hydrated, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Blue Street. It's a total walk on. Complete walk on. All right, guys, are you ready? What's up? Off we go. Have fun. <laughs> House on Boo Hills already being made. I would like to walk through there with my daughter this year. I've missed it the last two years running. And it's probably her last year going in it. All right, there is no one in line. It is a straight walk on for Gatekeeper. Sorry about the change in quality too for the sound. All my rig is in here, and I know the sound sounds not nearly as good, but we just don't have the time to put the rig up and down for each coaster right now. So I want to have it to make it as good as possible, but all right, here we go. If we can hit this, maybe we can hit one more. And either way, this is this is still six rides for the, no, seven rides for the night right now, right? Seven rides in two hours. That's pretty decent. And they're... They've been pretty big rides too. He's never ridden on the right side before. Never. Never. So we're gonna hit it right now. Right in? I'm ready. Alright. We have two minutes. I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> we have two minutes to maybe get on Wild Mouse. Maybe. If we can get there fast enough. So we're gonna book it and see what happens. Second ride. Second ride. We'll see. Maybe. Second ride for Taylor. Maybe. 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 We'll see if we can make it. All right, guys. It says 10 o'clock on my phone right now. I don't know if they'll let us in or not. Should we run? Run. Run. It's not closed. <laughs> Yay! Barely! Barely! <laughs> Good thing we run. We ran, huh? Okay, so that's eight coasters tonight, guys. Let's go! So, we have done eight rides tonight at the end of this ride. And provided, God forbid, this thing doesn't break down, which it does constantly. But, Eight rides started at 7:45. Is that right? Yep. 7:45, and uh, so it's been two hours and 15 minutes for us to get every to get eight rides done. Um, and seven of those were coasters. Um, one of them was a large flat ride, which I absolutely detest. 
But other than that, it was a really good night. So definitely fun. Thank you guys for joining us. So the objective of tonight was to figure out how the crowds are on a weekend after school has started. And I would say the crowds are pretty good. <laughs> so come check it out. Uh, this is like off season time after school starts. Definitely a good time to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And let's go. Oh, we are too? We're in the cheese car, yay! All right, Taylor, how was it? Well, it felt like going to the chiropractor. <laughs> he said he's going to need a, a chiropractic appointment tomorrow. Yes. Which is kind of something the Cedar Point's good at doing for you one way or another. All right, so, great night. Lots, lots done. We got some food. Uh, we got here a little bit later. Like, we got here at 6.30. Oh, no, 7. Sorry, 7, 7.30, 7.15 maybe. Um, and then got eight rides done. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to go hang out out here on the boardwalk. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Also, press that like button. I haven't been telling you guys to do that. So you guys haven't been doing it as much. So like it, like it. Let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week. So press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go.